Honorable Speaker, I thank the Honorable Member for his question. Uh, Honorable Speaker, the issue of drugs uh, continues to take the, the centre stage of, um, uh, of our discussions on how it has affected our Fijian community, especially our children. And uh, recently there has been a spike of drug cases being reported and arrests have been made. Now, if I might allude first to the percentage that, uh, that is alluded to in the question 94 uh, here, between the period from um, uh, January 2023 to January of this year. The triggers come about because the police have been able to arrest more people. That has been the reason for the numbers now. Um, I, I, I had commented earlier in the interview that to me that is a good thing because now we are catching a lot more people. This means that the police, despite in the past, are much more freer uh, to do these arrests and do their work freely according to the law. And um, as a consequence, uh, they have been able to arrest more people, um, uh, perhaps in the course of that, um, in their raids, they have uh, been able to, um, to capture uh, more drugs, as, as we have heard of the cases in Langalanga and also in, um, in Mangania, I think, uh, in Nanti. But we continue as a government to raise awareness on this issue uh, and for the ministry uh, we have two particular well at least all of the agencies that are under my portfolio immigration the police and also the, the anti-narcotics bureau have been going out extensively uh, to the public uh, conducting you know awareness on drugs not only by themselves but also with the use of the community that's both the Bono Lotu uh, and civil society in every way possible. I think there's a lot of debate out there now on the social media, creating awareness. This is the, the best thing we can do. Because at the end of the day, Honorable Speaker, I believe, and uh, if I might just steal one of the statements earlier on in, uh, <coughs> made by the Honorable Premier Kumar uh, with regards to her statement on the AMR, raised earlier by the Minister for Health, because it is about, the whole campaign is about to help people how to make choices. Okay. That's the only thing really that we have in our control. So the police can go and raid, people can go into court, and that's what's happening. Any case that comes up, we raid the houses, you know, like the case in Lautoka. But the thing that we would like to achieve more, and that's what we are doing right now, in a public campaign using all of our agencies is that telling our people say no to drugs, do not, do not do it, do not engage in it, do not sell it. If you know what's happening, then you must report it to the police or the proper agency. It's the only way to control it. And, it, uh, and also, by the same time, we are strengthening all of the units within the police, including that within immigration and the ministry, to try and stop these drugs from arriving here. And a lot of that is to do our work with our partners, Australia, New Zealand, the Americans, and the French, to be able to halt drugs or gather information as they are coming to our shores. Because once they land here, it's very hard for us to stop it. And the only way to stop it for us is to motivate and inform our people, stop indulging in drugs. You must make the informed choice. Do not use drugs. And if you know anyone who's peddling drugs, you come out and tell the police. Come out and tell the authorities. That's really the only thing we can do. We're a small state. So I would like to say, uh, uh, Honorable Speaker, I want to thank the police uh, in the efforts that they are making. They come under a lot of criticism. Obviously, they've been you know, mentioned in this house many times before. But 
since lately, they've been able to up the ante. With the police reset, we should be able to do more. And also, with now coming up of the Narcotics Bureau, police and the Narcotics Bureau are now working together, sharing information with our partners. And that way, we're able to work better. But we're always talking about our children and the youth consuming drugs. Our effort, the parents, and I'll say it again, parents bear children. It's not the state or the church or the Vanua. It is first their responsibility, teach their children, do not do drugs. The conversation is out there. Government is supporting it. Police is arresting people every day. This case in Lotoka the other day, police went in to raid a house where they confiscated cocaine, a significant amount of, and US dollars. So what did they do? They released their rod wellers, two rod wellers. And the police were able to handle these dogs, you know, and these are killer dogs. But this is uh, something that they have been able to do. So I would like to thank them because they're at the forefront of this work. But to help them, our community must tell, our members of each community, parents must tell children, don't do drugs. Police can only do so much. The rest is up to us. Honorable Speaker, thank you. Thank you, Honorable Rines, Sharma.